Thomas Michael Tom Glavine is an American retired professional baseball player. A pitcher, Glavine played in Major League Baseball for the Atlanta Braves and New York Mets. With 164 victories during the 1990s, Glavine earned the second highest amount of wins as a pitcher in the National League, second only to teammate Greg Maddus 176. He was a five-time 20-game winner and two-time Cy Young Award winner, and one of only 24 pitchers in Major League history to earn 300 career wins. On January 8, 2014, it was announced that he was voted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, in his first year of eligibility with 91.9%. Early years, Glavine was born in Concord, Massachusetts and raised in Bellerica, Massachusetts. Glavine attended Bellerica Memorial High School, where he was an excellent student and a letterman in ice hockey as well as baseball. He was a four-year member of the honor roll in the National Honor Society. In hockey, as a senior, he was named the Merrimack Valley's most valuable player. In baseball, he led his team to the Division I North title and the Eastern Massachusetts Championship as a senior. Glavine graduated from high school in 1984 with honors. He was elected to the Bellerica Memorial Howe High School Athletic Hall of Fame in 1993. Professional career, Glavine was drafted by both the Los Angeles Kings in the 1984 NHL Entry Draft, and the Atlanta Braves Major League Baseball Organization in the second round of the 1984 Amateur Baseball Draft. Glavine elected to play baseball and made his Major League debut on August 17, 1987. Equals Atlanta Braves equals. Glavine had mixed results during his first several years in the majors, compiling a 33 Euro 43 record from 1987 to 1990, including a 17 loss performance in 1988. His fortunes turned around in 1991, when he won 20 games and posted a 2.55 earned run average. It was his first of three consecutive seasons with 20 or more wins, and saw him earn his first National League Cy Young Award. Glavine was the ace of the 1991 Braves starting rotation that also included Steve Avery, Charlie Librand, and another future NLC Young Award winner, John Smulls. His season helped ensure a dramatic reversal in the Braves' competitive fortunes as they won the National League pennant and earned a trip to the World Series, though they lost to the Minnesota Twins in seven games. In an era of the diminishing 20-game winner, Glavine became the last major league pitcher to win 20 games in three consecutive years. Atlanta, long thought of as a perennial cellar dweller, was lifted in the 1990s into one of the most successful franchises in the game on the strength of his stellar pitching staff and solid hitting. After the Braves acquired Greg Maddu from the Chicago Cubs in 1993, Glavine, Maddu, and Smulls formed one of the best pitching rotations in baseball history. Among them, they won seven C. Young Awards during the period of 1991 to 1998. Glavine won his second C. Young Award in 1998, going 20 a Euro 6 with a 2.47 ERA. Years later, after Glavine joined the Mets and Madu played for the San Diego Padres, the three all recorded wins on the same day, June 27, 2007. The Braves defeated the Cleveland Indians in six games in the 1995 World Series, and Glavine was named the series MVP. He won two games during that series, Game 2 and Game 6. In Game 6, he pitched eight innings of one-hit shutout baseball. In addition to the championship won with the Braves in 1995, he also went to four other World Series with the team. Equals New York Mets equals, in 2003, Glavine left Atlanta to play for the rival New York Mets, signing a four-year, $42.5 million deal. Glavine's performance had slumped in the second half of 2002 and he was ineffective in his two postseason starts, so Atlanta refused to guarantee a third year on his contract. Glavine's first year as a Met was poor. For the first time since 1988, he failed to win 10 games, also posting his first losing record in that span. 9 a Euro 14. He also allowed his first and only career Grand Slam, hit by Joza copyright Vidro of the Expos on September 19. Glavine did get to enjoy a personal highlight at the end of the season, however, when the Mets called up his brother Mike to join the team. 
Glavine began 2004 well, highlighted by a May 23 one-hit shutout of the Colorado Rockies in selection to the National League All-Star team. However, he struggled again during a second half marred by losing front teeth in a car accident while riding in a taxicab. He went on to post a slightly better record, though still a losing one, going 11 a Euro 14. He started off 2005 slowly, but rebounded after advice from pitching coach Rick Peterson, who encouraged Glavine to begin pitching inside more often and incorporate a curve ball in his repertoire. Glavine's turnaround helped him earn National League Pitcher of the Month in September. He finished the season with a 13 a Euro 13 record and a respectable 3.53 ERA. The Mets' faith in Glavine was rewarded when he returned to his old form during the 2006 season. He finished one victory shy of the NL lead in wins and was selected to the All-Star team. That season Tom Glavine became the first Mets left-hander in nearly 30 years to start at least 30 games in four consecutive seasons. Glavine and the Mets got a scare in August 2006. His pitching shoulder was tested for a blood clot because he was suffering from coldness in his left ring finger. This was originally thought to be a symptom of Reynolds syndrome, which had been diagnosed in 1990. According to the picture, doctors picked something up when they did the ultrasound. The results of that new test showed the problem could be treated with medicine, and Glavine resumed pitching on September 1, against the Houston Astros. Glavine finished the 2006 season with a fine 15 a Euro 7 record and a 3.82 ERA, as the Mets won the National League Eastern Division, allowing him to make his first playoff appearance since leaving the Braves. He started Game 2 of the Division Series against the Los Angeles Dodgers, pitching six shutout innings and surrendering only four hits to pick up the win, as the Mets went on to sweep the series from the Dodgers. He then started Game 1 of the National League Championship Series against the St. Louis Cardinals, pitching seven shutout innings to pick up the win, helped by Carlos Beltran's two-run home run. Glavine's postseason scoreless innings streak ended in his next start. He suffered the loss in Game 5 while the Mets went on to drop the series to the Cardinals in seven games. Glavine re-signed with the Mets for the 2007 season needing only 10 wins to reach 300 wins for his career. He started his fourth opening day game as a Met in the 2007 season. On August 5, 2007, Glavine won his 300th game, against the Chicago Cubs at Wrigley Field on ESPN Sunday Night Baseball. In the game, he also was 1-for-2 with a run batted in and a walk. He pitched 6 innings and won 8 to Euro 3 bringing his lifetime record to 300 a Euro 197. Glavine is the 23rd pitcher to win 300 games, and the fifth left-handed pitcher to do so, joining Eddie Plank, Lefty Grove, Warren Spahn, and Steve Carlton. Randy Johnson has since won his 300th game on June 4, 2009, becoming the 24th pitcher and sixth left-hander to do so. On September 30, 2007, Glavine started the final game of the Mets 2007 regular season against the Florida Marlins. The Mets, tied with the Philadelphia Phillies, needed a win to either win the division or force a playoff game with the Phillies for the division. Unfortunately, Glavine made one of the worst starts of his career, allowing seven runs while recording only one out, with the Mets being eliminated from playoff contention with an 8 Euro 1 loss. Glavine declined a one-year. $13 million contract option for the 2008 season with the Mets on October 5, 2007, ending his time as a New York Met. However, he did collect a $3 million buyout when he declined the $13 million option. Equals return to Atlanta Braves equals. On November 18, 2007, Glavine rejoined the Braves, seemingly bringing his career full circle, with a one-year contract worth $8 million. On April 18, 2008, Glavine was placed on the disabled list for the first time in his 22-year career. On May 14, 2008, Glavine won his first game with the Atlanta Braves since September 19, 2002. This was also his 304th win, and it occurred while the Atlanta Braves were playing against the Philadelphia Phillies. Coincidentally, both his win on September 19, 2002 and May 14, 2008, 
were against the Phillies. On August 14, 2008, Glavine appeared in his final game. He started against the Chicago Cubs, and he gave up seven runs in only four innings. A few days later, he was placed on the disabled list because of a recurring shoulder injury. On February 19, 2009, Glavine agreed to return to Atlanta by signing a $1 million, one-year contract that included another $3.5 million in possible bonuses based on roster time. However, the Braves released Glavine on June 3, 2009, as he was completing his rehab assignment. On June 20, Glavine announced he wouldn't pitch for the rest of the season. On February 11, 2010, he officially retired from the sport, having strongly hinted at that decision throughout the past few months. On the date of his retirement, Glavine agreed to take a job as a special assistant to Braves president John Scoeholt starting in the 2010 season. He would also serve as a guest analyst for some Braves games on Sports South and Fox Sports South. The Braves retired Glavine's number 47 on August 6, 2010. Pitching style, Glavine, a left-hander, gradually lost velocity over the latter part of his career. Even at the end of his career, he was an effective starting pitcher in the National League due to his excellent control and deception, switching speeds, and locating pitches off the outside corner of the strike zone. His most common approach was to begin by locating his circle change up off the outside corner, then follow with alternating fastballs and change ups to confuse the hitter. While batters frequently make contact with his pitches, the substantial movement he places on them makes drives very soft, resulting in easily fielded ground balls and fly outs. Glavine's consistency is also highlighted by his durability. Since his first full year in 1988, he started at least 25 games every year and never being placed on the disabled list until his final Ciasona Euro at age 42. In addition to his excellent change-up and well-controlled fastball, Glavine has a plus curve ball, a slider, and a tailing two-seam fastball. Despite being a left-handed pitcher, Glavine was often more effective against right-handed batters. Dodgers broadcaster Van Scully noted that this attribute is likely due to Glavine pitching from the extreme right edge of the pitching rubber. Like longtime Atlanta teammate Greg Maddu, Glavine was one of the better hitting pitchers of his generation. He has a career .186 batting average a Euro decent for a modern pit carer Euro, and has hit over .200 in nine seasons, with a career best of .289 in 1996. He has a good eye drawing a high number of walks, which combined with his hits have given him a career on base percentage of .244. Because Glavine gets on base almost a quarter of the time he bats, opposing pitchers have never been able to treat him as an automatic out in the lineup. In 2004, Glavine walked as often as he struck out, another remarkable feat for a pitcher. Glavine is also an excellent bunter. His 201 sacrifice bunts prior to 2007 ranked second among active players at the time, only behind Omar Vizel. Glavine has four Silver Slugger awards, ranking him second all-time for pitchers behind Mike Hampton. Glavine is known for a calm, unemotional personality, even during rough outings. Players Union representative, starting in 1991. Tom Glavine served as the Atlanta Braves team representative to the Major League Baseball Players Association, succeeding former NL Most Valuable Player and Braves icon Dale Murphy in the position. Prior to and during the 1994 Major League Baseball strike, Tom Glavine was heavily involved in negotiations between the union and team owners and was frequently interviewed and quoted in the press about the talks. Ultimately, the strike caused the cancellation of the 1994 World Series and lasted seven and one half months. When play resumed in 1995, Glavine was frequently booed by Braves fans for his role in the Players' Union and was criticized for it in the local Atlanta press. Glavine currently serves as the National League Players' Representative. Personal Life In 2005, along with several Mets teammates, Glavine served as a spokesman for Volunteers of America's Operation Backpack program. The program helped equip over 7,000 homeless schoolchildren with backpacks full of necessary school supplies. An additional 3,000 backpacks were sent to Houston to help Katrina victims. 
In 2007, Glavine supported the Rally Foundation through the Money in the Mid 300 Challenge to support childhood cancer care by selling Vineyard Vines Rally tires to commemorate his historic 300th win in an effort to raise $300,000. 300 signed ties were to be sold for $1,000 each. In 2008, Glavine released a charity wine called Cabinet Glavine on to raise funds for Cure Childhood Cancer, an organization founded to help conquer childhood cancer through research, education and support of patients and their families. Since 1992, Glavine has partnered with the Georgia Transplant Foundation to host the annual spring training event raising more than $4.3 million for transplant candidates, recipients, and their families, in the state of Georgia. In 2011, Glavine became a color commentator for Atlanta Braves baseball games. Glavine and his wife Christine have five children. They live in Johns Creek, Georgia, and Glavine coaches his son's baseball and hockey teams. Glavine is a Roman Catholic and has done a recorded piece for Catholic Athletes for Christ. Glavine is known for being humble about his accomplishments and an avid golfer, so a good friend, Jack Kennedy, gifted Glavine six dozen golf balls that display his uniform number, 47, on one side and the number of losses he had in his career on the other, 203. The gift was given around the time Glavine received the phone call that he would be a first ballot Hall of Fame inductee. Accomplishments, Major League Baseball Hall of Fame inductee. 23rd player to win 300 career games, 10-time All-Star, 2-time National League Cy Young Award winner, finished 2nd in National League Cy Young Award voting, finished 3rd in National League Cy Young Award voting, finished 10th in National League MVP voting, finished 11th in National League MVP voting, finished 14th in National League MVP voting, finished 21st in National League MVP voting, Finished 24th in National League MVP voting, World Series MVP award, 5-time National League leader in wins, 4-time Silver Slugger winner, only. Pitcher to throw two shutouts at Coors Field, doing so well with Atlanta. Holds the major league record for career starts without making an appearance in relief. Also started 35 postseason games with no relief appearances. See also. List of Major League Baseball leaders in career wins, List of Major League Baseball wins champions, Top 100 strikeout pitchers of all time, Major League Baseball titles leaders. References External links, Career Statistics and Player Information from MLB, or ESPN, or Baseball Reference, or Fangraphs, or The Baseball Cube, or Baseball Reference, Tom Glavine's Career Statistics at the Internet Hockey Database.